Hey guys, I'm Star, and welcome back to another episode of this Pokemon Red Randomizer I'm playing. So, last session we had, we made a discovery that I wasn't expecting. I was expecting that within this starting bit, within this first area where you could, like, feasibly get key items, that one of them was bound to be the SSN tickets. I don't know why I thought that necessarily, because, like, it makes sense when it's completely randomized that things would be that random, but yeah, we don't have the SSN tickets, so we can't get on board, so we can't get cut, but, you know, what I didn't know at the time was that the HMs were randomized too, you know? Didn't really quite occur to me. And so SSN very well might not has have cut, in fact, probably doesn't. But yes, like I said, I went through off-camera and I cleared out these trainers and the trainers just above Vermilion City, so to show you my team really quickly, um, we still have Toidle, he's level 24 now, so he just learned Bite, so that's helpful. I put a Diglett on my team, level 19, so it has Dig, I didn't have to teach it using the TM that I got from that rocket back in Cerulean. Um, I still have Jag, the Fable's still level 10, Spiro I'm starting to level up, hoping to get a Fero soon, Radicate's 21, and as far as the Pokedex total, we have 26. Um, I raised my Kakuna really quickly to level 10, it was level 6 in my party, you know. Got Beedrill, um, and now it's just back in the PC, because I don't... I didn't actually want it on my team, you know, I just wanted a Beedrill for the sake of the Pokedex. Um, also, that dude up here, this dude, he's the one that has a Growlithe and Vulpix. I pointed out there was a Gambler, I mean, like, I, gu I guessed the Gambler by the gate, but no, it was that dude. So, I wasn't completely off in my memory, just off on the specifics of it. But what I want to do at this point is, um, switch Spiro back to the front. Or do I? Because here's the scary part, actually. Now we're getting into a little bit of risky territory because, you know, what you're supposed to do is have the SSN and then you fight Surge's gym and then you go back to Cerule and you go through Rock Tunnel and then you emerge in Lavender Town. So that means that there are quite a few trainers that you're technically supposed to be fighting first um, before you ever reach this point because the, the, what we got last session was the Poke Flute, which let us clear out the Snorlax here. So now we have, like, free passage basically. Um, to Lavender Town, to, um, Celadon City, to Fuchsia. Does this dude have max range right here? He probably does. I, w I really want to get in that house because he should give me another rod, and that's another key item. So I'm going to try to avoid him, but you can't. All right, we'll try to fight him then. Hopefully he's nothing too bad. I have my strongest Pokemon out in front. He's, you know, it's Jag, level 25. This dude said electricity is a specialty. That should be good. Because, you know, hey, Jag is ground. But yeah, you'd see he's level 29. That doesn't look great. Okay, light screen though, that's fair. I'm not doing special attacks. So whatever. And I don't really have to worry in this case either about, um... Thrash confusing me. Like, that took two hits, so normally I'd have to be concerned. Um, because... When Thrash in this gen, um, when you have three hits already, there's a 50-50 chance you'll get a fourth hit in or you'll get confused, so... Yeah, but we don't have to worry about that here because we're getting to switch out. Not a huge deal. Hopefully it uses an electric attack on us. Because I just send out, you know, Spiro, my flying type. So that would be the smart thing to do on his part, but then I just switched out for a ground, so it wouldn't affect at all. But they just want to spam light screen for some reason. <laughs> Four times in a row between the Voltorb and the Electro. That's kind of weird. Alright, that was a crit, not the best then. Why light screen though? I would kind of understand it more if I had Jag out consistently, because maybe they only have light screen and like electric type attacks, and so they're just not using something that wouldn't affect me at all. But the fact that I had Spearow out first makes that odd. Thankfully though, yeah, that fight was super easy. Just because, like level wise it shouldn't have been, but because of the moves, yeah. So let's see what we get from this dude. Fishing Guru's brother, you love fishing. I love to fish too! What are you gonna give me? There's the SS ticket! Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to get that, like, right away once we started this session, but yeah, I'm gonna go back to the SSN, because not only are Pokemon there, of course, a lower level, so it'd be a good place to train up some of my lower level Pokemon, and, you know, with switch training and such, um, but I also would get an HM at the end of it, which probably, again, won't be cut in this case, but it might be something that we need, so... That's what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go back to the SSN, or I guess to the SSN for the first time this playthrough. <laughs> um, I think that I'm good as far as my party is concerned, because I still do want to raise Spiro, and then I want to raise Clefable, just because level 10, you know, that's weak. Um, and Diglett evolves 26? 
So I still have some I still have some time on that one. I do want to get some training in, but right now, of the three that aren't my main Pokemon, you know, being like Jag, Toidle, and Raticate, um, Diglett's the best off, so that's okay. Alright, so I mean I guess. I guess I should probably do training first. Part of me really just wants to go straight up to, to the rival fight. Um, just because I want to see what the captain will give us afterward. But, you know, if I'm going to do training, I, I could just get it out of the way while I'm here in front of the rooms and everything. The issue is I can't do this off camera because once you have cut, or you know, once you reach the captain and get the HM from him, or whatever item he has, because randomized in this. Um, the ship leaves if you leave it, so I have to do it on camera. I don't necessarily have to show it in the editing. <laughs> that's the that's the thing. Okay, Spirit grew to level 17 though, so we're getting closer. I don't know what level it evolves at. I'm hoping 18. You know, I'm just hoping I won't have to push it too far, but I frankly don't know. Okay, so just healed up at the Pokemon Center, and now to fill you in on a couple things. So first, I did clear out all the trainers on the SSN, so that's good. You know, got some levels and stuff there. Um, Diglett's level 20. I don't know about all the others. I think Firo? Yeah, so my Spearow evolved, level 20 right now. And I think Lefable is at level 17, so I, s I got her up seven levels over the course of the SSN, so that was nice. And actually, it seems like Lefable might end up being a pretty powerful contender on my team. Might be a little early to say, and I'm not a great judge of that, um, but I found, oh, uh, you know something else that I wanted to do while I was at the Pokemon Center, so I'm actually gonna walk back at least to the Mart, which kinda sucks, cause it's out of the way, but whatever, um, is I want to, well first I wanna sell some things, that's the point, or put some things in the po or in the PC, but what I did was I picked up Body Slam, a TM for Body Slam, and I taught that to Clefable, because since I used the Moonstone to evolve Clefable like right away, um, she's not gonna learn any moves really by leveling up, I just, I don't think she is. Um, but Body Slam is pretty powerful, and so that should definitely help her. Um, and then in Saffron, I'm gonna pick up a TM for Psychic. I assume that's in Gen 1. And so, um, my plan there is to teach Psychic to Clefable too, because she's pretty good with both Special and Attack, like Physical Attack. In fact, she's a little better with Special, just three points higher at this point. So, yeah, that's my current plan, and it's probably gonna go really well. <laughs> we'll see, of course. I don't know. Um, I'm hoping that it will be. I don't think I need the good rod for anything right now. And I don't need the moonstone just yet. I do need the SS to get a little bit longer. After, of course, the SS and we could come back and deposit that. I think this is for rest, so I don't need that. But yeah, so that's that's my plan. Is um to get Clefable Psychic, the TM for Psychic, once we reach Saffron. Just because I figure, one, that'll cover some, um, you know, a type that I don't really have covered just yet. I have Dig, like, on my Diglett, a ground-type move for, for the sake of dealing with poison-type enemies, and later on, I'll get Earthquake. But, um, Psychic would be good, too. Would also help with fighting types, of course. I'm hoping that Firo over time will get a little bit better. Like, it's not terrible, but it's just, um... Just right now, with only Peck and Fury attack, you know, it's not doing a terrible ton. So, fingers crossed that in time it'll get better. Also, something else that happened is shortly after I, I skipped ahead for you guys, um, the Xbox One controller that I'm using, it just stopped working. I think my USB port is dying, but it's the only USB port <laughs> that I have available of the ones that also aren't dead. My computer's fairly old at this point. So, I really need to do something about that because I wasn't able to get it to work, but because I had to switch the control scheme, it wouldn't, like, <laughs> Visual Boy Advance, the emulator I'm using for this, it wouldn't accept my keyboard as an input, so I had to, like, reset. And I did make a save state so I could just jump back in where I left off, um, but then I hit the key bind to save a save state instead of to load the save state like I had intended, so it just went all sorts of poorly for me. Um, against Pidgeotto, I'm actually just gonna try to fight it. Let's just see. Let's see how it goes. Because again, Body Slam, pretty powerful. Yeah, this could potentially kill it in just one more hit. I'm open. Oh, it was so close. At least we didn't take more damage? Because now I could just switch off and get rid of, um, you know, the Sand Attack. So that's not bad. We'll keep Clefable out just for this first bit, just for the sake of experience. 
Uh, I'm supposed to jag here. But yeah, so I had to I had to go all the way back, fight that electric dude again, get the SSN ticket again, go back, fight through those like first two trainers or whatever. So it wasn't awful, but it was it was a little obnoxious. And now I'm having to use the keyboard as my input for now. Last time this happened, all I had to do was restart my computer, but I really do think that um, that USB port's just dying, which is quite sad. All right. So Kadabra. This shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, he's probably faster than me, so he should hit me. Yeah, but I, I, he has other moves. I know he doesn't just have teleport. But the point was that I know he's like his defense is low. So Clefable, yeah, able to take him out in one body slam. That was awesome. You can see attack and special. They're pretty close, but special is higher. So that's cool. And Ivysaur, you know, I'm just gonna try it. If I had Psychic here, Ivysaur would be toast. But we'll just see how Body Slam does. I mean, right after this fight, essentially, I get a heal. Like, there aren't any other fights between now and the time I can heal. So, even if Clefable were to get hit and, like, be really weak, or even get knocked out, it wouldn't be the worst thing ever. So we'll just skip through all this. And then, we have the moment of truth coming up, we get to see what the captain gives us. You know, normally he gives us HMO1 for cut, but it's a randomizer, and the HMs are thrown into the key items, so... This could be interesting, or it could be boring. Let's see. It'll probably be interesting. Hopefully it'll be interesting. Yeah. I got the lift key! What the heck? Okay, so that's for the game corner rocket base? I don't think there's another lift key anywhere else. That's interesting. Oh, you know, I hadn't even thought about that. Okay, I did think about having to go to the rocket base, but I thought about that because, you know, normally in the rocket base is where you get the sylph scope, which you normally need, um, like, if you're not doing the poke doll strategy, or whatever. It seems weird to call it a strategy. If you're not using the poke doll to get through Lavender Tower to get past the ghost, you need the sylph scope, which you get from the Team Rocket hideout in um, Celadon City's game, um, game corner. Almost said GameStop. But I didn't think about the lift key, so now I have to go to the hideout to get what the sylph scope should be and what the lift key should be, because those are both key items that are randomized. All these things that I don't think about as being like key items or whatever, that's really interesting. Unfortunately though, aside from that, it doesn't really help progress, though I suppose, I suppose, I would have needed the lift key to get through the hideout. And they need, of course, to get through the hideout in order to get, um, the, what the Sylph Scope would have been, you know? So, it's not the worst thing ever, of course. It opens up the pathway to get another key item. Unfortunately, though, without Cut, you know, we can't get Surge's badge, and so, even if we could get Fly, we couldn't use it. Though we can't get Fly the normal way, because we need Cut to get Fly. But that wouldn't be fly anyway, most likely, considering the HMs were all randomized. Bloody heck, we can't we can't get the old amber key item without cut too. Like cut would have been really useful just because it would have opened up the old amber and the um and the fly HM. Which again, just two key items that could be anything at this point. Alright, but with with um with all this open, we do have to again go out and brave Lavender Town and things like that. Um so Still, yes, a little concerned, just given the fact that we are a lower level than everything out here, basically. But, we'll do what we can. Like, this is the way that's open for us, this is how we get more key items, so we've gotta do it. I don't think I can get past this No, I can. I can totally get past this dude. I'll probably come back for him. Can I get past this dude? I can get past that one. And I can get past that one. I don't think I can get past that one. Yeah, I think I have to fight this dude. Let's see. Okay, I tried at the very edge, you know. But let's see what his level is. Maybe he's not as high as, like, the Voltorb Electro dude we fought earlier. Let's see. Goldeen, level 22. Yeah, not ideal, I will say. But it also could be worse. Oh, Body Slam missed! Dang it, and after Super Sonic missed, I was excited. I was like, yeah, I get a free hit. No. Oh, and it would be dead. But instead, I take how much damage? Oh, that was with the Tail Whip, though. Wasn't it? I mean, I assumed the Tail Whip hit. I guess I didn't actually read it. But that's not bad. 
I mean, and Polywag probably is gonna use Bubble, which Tail Whip wouldn't even affect. Okay, Water Gun. That's fair. You're a higher level. But Tail Whip isn't affecting me at this point, so I'll just, I'll just keep fighting him right now. Cool. You know, if I get, um, if I get Clefable Psychic, that'll make the Lavender Tower easier too, just against the Ghastlies. You know, all that stuff that pops up. Okay, the two Tail Whips might come back to bite me a little bit here. No, but we're fine. As long as this Body Slam hits, we take no damage from the Scoldy. We're good. And Clefable grew to level 21. Look at its stats real quick. Nice. Okay, Special is definitely pulling ahead of attack. Four ahead this time. It started out as two, and then it went to three by the time you guys are watching. Now it's even higher. Cool. All right. I should probably check these stairs to see if there's an assistant. Okay, no. Oh, I forgot about that. What TM do you give me? I totally forgot this was a thing. Swift. Swift is a... Swift's not a bad move. All things considered, you know? It's not. Um... Maybe. Maybe. I mean, you don't really have anything else right now. I don't know how powerful Fury Attack is. I'll definitely consider that. I won't teach it right away, but I'll definitely consider that. I think that Fira would probably benefit more from it than uh, Eradicate would. But I don't know if it's the right move. All the same. But here we are now in Lavender Town. So I'm a... I'm a... Well, I'll check the Mart real quick. See what's up. Um, okay, so we have, yeah, access to some different things now. That's pretty cool. I'm really tempted to buy super repels. How are, how are my items looking? Do I have any normal repels at that? I do have a few. Which I didn't end up using yet. Okay, I won't, I won't buy any super repels just yet, just because we have normal. Um, let's sell this HP up, because we don't need that. I just never really use those, like, vitamins. I just never use them, so... And I want to hold on to that Swift. I don't want to sell it. Okay. Okay, are these houses anything? Yeah, you're some deleter. Or name raider. That's what I meant. But one of those just kinds of special NPCs. It's just always weird to me because he doesn't have a sign or anything outside his house. Alright, first things first, we're going to heal. And... You know what might honestly be good is backtracking through Rock Tunnel in order to fight those trainers and get experience. Because again, normally right after SSN, you go to Lieutenant Search and then Rock Tunnel and then you'd be here. So I've like skipped a little bit by mis- not by mistake, but just by the routing of the, the randomization. I don't think I'm going to. I might save it for off camera. Hopefully by that point it wouldn't be too late. That's what I'm concerned about is like... By that point, they wouldn't be worth going back and, like, fighting. I don't know. I don't know if there are any items that would be worth getting in there, just because I always go through <laughs> um, without Flash, and I, I would have to do the same thing here. And going through Reverse without Flash, that would be interesting. I know there are definitely some trainers, too, that I normally skip in Rock Tunnel. Just because, you know, you can avoid them, and I know how. Hmm. Alright, well, I still... I still think it would be a good idea, I'll say that. But considering these guys right, you know, around this entrance here, the cave entrance, are level 20, and that's... That's where I'm thinking my team is right now, because I have some above, some just at, you know... So I'm thinking that I'll fight the guys around the, the entrance here, but I won't go into the cave yet. So I think after this last we have two hikers. But then from that point, we'll actually go back to Lavender. I'll probably heal again, because I assume I'm going to take enough damage for that to be worthwhile. And then we'll actually go west towards Celadon City. Oh, and I don't have a bike this time. It's so weird not to have a bike yet. We're just going to get that randomly at some point, because the, <laughs> the bike shop didn't have that. Which is interesting. I really, I really do think this randomizer is fun so far. Um, it's, I'll say it's slightly tedious just that it's a normal Pokemon game aside from that. And so like, 
even though this new area was opened up to me, I still have to deal with levels and everything. You know, it's not just like knowledge of the game that I can use, but I still have to kind of play the game normally. Um, tedious, yes, but not not fun, you know what I mean? Not not fun. Still enjoying it. It just introduces a challenge that I hadn't expected. <laughs> and um yeah, so what I'm what I'm curious about though is like actually trying this out on um the emulator that I usually use for speed running this game because I would be curious to see about like getting my normal like strong um Nidoran you know, doing the same experience routing as I normally do, like playing the game as normally as I can, um, which I think would be messed up just after, um, after Cerulean, because, you know, then you, if you don't have access to cut, then you can't do, you know, Surge, and you can't do, um, SSN without the ticket, all that kind of stuff. But up to that point, everything should be normal, so I should be able to, like, consistently, I think, have a level 24 or 25, 24, right? He learns Thrash at, learns Thrash at 23, and then you, oh no, it would be 25 by the time you beat Misty, yeah. Pretty sure. Because if you learn Thrash at 23, and then you use a rare candy when you're in Bills, and then you level up against the star you, you'd be 25. Hopefully I'm remembering that correctly. But point is that it would be consistent with what I'm, you know, familiar with. And I just wonder if that would really speed things along, or if the fact that I'd suddenly have to reroute just for the sake of all this... I mean, I know it would screw me up, but I don't know how badly it would screw me up. <laughs> like, I wonder if I could still be like, Alright, I'm at Koga's and I'm this level, I'm still good. I know it would be different because of the... I don't know exactly how it works, but what are essentially, you know, EVs later on. I don't think EVs are a thing in this gen, but it's similar stuff. Um, but just depending on, you know, like, what you kill to get experience from, it gives that experience in a way to specific stats? So, like, beating one thing might give you more leaning toward health, while beating another thing leans you more towards special. I have, like, a very loose understanding of it <laughs> that might well be flawed. But, I, I know that that stuff would be messed up if I, if I had to route different things because of a randomizer. But I'm just thinking about how things could be a little bit faster, or more efficient, or smoother, or whatever. But Clefable, it seems like Clefable has caught up pretty quickly, you know. Toidle, my starter, is level 25. Not my strongest Pokemon. Jag is right now, 26, I believe. But still, Clefable is really caught up. So yeah, I'm leaving the trainers again inside Rock Tunnel. I may go back off camera and train up a little bit more. It won't be as worthwhile at that point, but it'll still get me some experience. Um, but for now, we'll just, yeah, continue west. We have plenty of trainers to fight between Lavender Town and Celadon anyway. Ooh, but you know what I might want to do? I might actually want to do the minimal amount of trainers right now anyway. So I could get Psych- So I could get to Saffron City as quickly as possible and get Psychic for Clefable. I think that's what I want to do, yeah. So that's the only trainer that I need to fight right now on this route in order to make progress. Then I just, I mean, unless I mess up and, like, don't do an input correctly. Like, I need to go down here! Otherwise, that last would've gotten me. And then, if you don't go high enough before you turn up here... Like, if I were to turn here, that old dude would see me trying to go in, into that building. But here is fine. Alright, so this is gonna be interesting. Normally, to get this, you know, um, elixir down here, I'm on the bike. And so, there's an audio cue, and instead I'm just gonna be like pressing a lot of these. I walked for a little bit, hoping that it would cover up. I think I walked- I walked too far, yeah. There it is. Okay, cool. I don't know the audio cue at all for walking, because why would you be walking at this point? You should have a bike, man! They're very helpful! Alright, but here we are. In Celadon. Well, just about in Celadon, you know what I mean. Ooh! Ooh, key item is a coin case! Or rather, a coin case is a key item. Y you get me. I'm gonna heal really quick, but then I'm gonna go get that coin case right away, because that could be useful. And I still have the SS ticket on my person, don't I? Did I ever actually get rid of that? I should check. And I'm gonna check by actually going to the, uh, the PC here, and trying to deposit it. I 
I do still have it. Cool. I mean, I don't need that anymore. It's just taking up one of my precious item slots, so getting rid of that ASAP. But yeah, I want to get the coin case before anything else. Because otherwise, I might forget, <laughs> and that would be silly. Because normally, I don't care for it. But here we go. Oh, but you know what that means? Town map, great. I didn't need that. I didn't need that. What that means, though, and this part sucks, is, um... Because I don't have the coin case, I can't pick up coins. And not that I was planning on gambling, but I could have picked up enough coins to get an Abra from the, um... Well, the reward place. I don't remember what's called. Um, and that just would have been another Pokemon for our Pokedex. You know, a quick, easy one. Oh, but you know, if we're talking about quick, easy... Quick, easy Pokedex Pokemon... Where's the entrance? Is it over here? I should go pick up the Eevee really quickly. So here he is. Nah. Eevee was sent to the Pokemon box one on PC. Cool. Alright, so yeah, we uh, we own 28 officially now. Need two more so that I can get the HM for strength. We saw that that was just um, in the guardhouse east of Vermilion. So that'll be cool. So now we can actually head back in. Um, I just want to do the department store right now. Though I could do the Team Rocket hideout while I'm here. Maybe that would be better. I don't know, because... Yeah, I might as well get Psychic before doing the hideout. I might as well. Why not, right? Oh, bloody. I'm so used to just... Hold on. What do I actually want here? Do I want Horn Drill? I don't know what any of these other things are. They could be awesome, but I don't know what they are. You can never go wrong with super repels, right? Just for now, I'm gonna buy my usual kind of stuff. There we go. So I bought that stuff from you. I I have I have been doing my Nido King the same so far as I normally do. So why not at least get Horn Drill for him? Not go down, go up. He needs to go up. In fact, I need to go to the very top. I am going to get the Poké Doll, because, um, as you recall from the start of this, or maybe, maybe you don't remember, but, as I recall at least, um, when you, when I read the notes about this randomizer, it said that it was considering, um, Lavender Tower without the Sylph Scope to be within Logic, so you don't need Sylph Scope, according to the logic of this game, in order to beat Lavender Tower, which you don't, which is true, um, but that's because they're factoring in the Poké Doll. And I actually, there's no room for stuff! No, I need stuff, though. I mean, I guess I might as well sell something. I just don't know what I want to sell, really. I have some super potions. I'll sell my normal potions, I guess. I should probably buy more potions in that case, more super potions. Son of a gun, go back up. Alright, you know, and something else I just have to do is I can't get the TMs yet. Uh, you get TMs by trading the little girl the three drinks. Um, so if I were to give her soda pop, she'd give me the TM for Rock Slide, which is really nice. But unfortunately, I don't have item space for that, so... Least favorite part about the Gen 1 games is their really limited item space, because it is so limited. It really is. Um, so, I am gonna just give this... Or er, whoops, went too far. I'm gonna give the fresh water to the guard. Just so I don't have to deal with that anymore, it'll free up an item space, and then I'll get the TM for Psychic, but I'll teach it right away, so I'll still have a free item space. And I guess from there, I should probably go and try the whole rocket hideout. Like, I don't need the TMs yet for, um, you know, from the little girl. Probably should have bought Super Potions, but I forgot already as I was leaving. <laughs> so whatever. At least we got that much cleared out. Yes, I did. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. So I'm gonna teach this. It'll be great. Oh, you know what, though? I can get rid of the town map. That'll free up another slot. I forgot I picked that up already. Because it's so useless. Alright, Clefable, there you go. Now you are super powerful. I think I want to take care of the Arbok right now. Oh, you know, Arbok. Clefable just learned Psychic. That could potentially be really helpful. Clefable's a much lower level. So it could go really poorly, too. But... Oh, wait, can I not... Oh, right. Right, I can't do this just yet. 
darn you. We have to do Lavender Tower first. You know, in that case, let's go to Lavender Tower. We have the Poke, uh, we have the Poke doll. We might as well, right? Cue outro, go!